Hi, today we're going to deal with subtraction of numbers, two-digit numbers minus one-digit numbers. The first number we're going to work with is a, the number 17, take away 4. And you know that when we subtract, we always go to the ones place first, and we look to see if the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. And in this case, you can see that 7 is bigger than 4, so we need to do 7 minus 4. Now, you may already know what that answer is, or if you don't, we can put little dots on our 4, 4 dots, and use those to help us count backwards. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So we get 3 down here. And then we come over here, and 1, take away, there's nothing here. So we can just bring down the 1. So we get 17 minus 4 is equal to 13. Now let's do another one. Let's do 18 minus 2. So again, we want to notice that we're going to start in the 1's place, and the 8 is bigger than the 2 so that we can do 8 and we can count backwards. 8, 7, 6. So we get a 6 here, carry down that 1, and we get 16. But what happens when we have a number like 13 take away 8? In this case, you'll notice that we go to our ones place, the 3 is smaller than the 8. If I have 3 apples, I can't take 8 away. So you may have learned to try to borrow. So you go over to one place over and you borrow from here. You take 1 away from there and you get 0. And then you put that 1 over here. That may be one way you've learned to do it. But if we notice that, if we do that, we still have the same problem, 13 minus 8. So we haven't really changed anything. So lots of kids end up having to sit there and use their fingers. But I want to show you a different way to do 13 minus 8 that changes it from a subtraction problem into an addition problem. I called this bill to 10. I put two different blanks on the side of the problem. And I ask myself, how far is each of these numbers away from 10? To get to the first one is really easy because teens are always this digit away from 10. So whatever this digit is, is what's going to go here. Because this is already a 10, so if it's 13, it's just going to be 3 away. Now from 8, I can count up to see how far I get to 10. 8, and I can put little dots if I need to to help, 9, 10. So I needed 2 more to get to 10. Once I have the two numbers on the line, I can just add those. 3 plus 2 is 5, and that's my answer, 5. So I've changed this subtraction problem into an addition problem. So let's do another one. Excuse me for a second while I erase the board. Put our marker back down to a good size here and get back to a paintbrush. And let's see if we have 12 minus 9. Again, go to our ones place. We notice that this 2 is smaller than the 9. So we're going to put blanks over to the side. And we're going to say, how far is this away from 10? Well, it's 2, because it's the teen. Again, that one's always the really easy one. Then we just count here, 9. You have 9 fingers up. How many more fingers do you need to get to 10? You just need one more finger. 2 plus 1 is 3. That's your answer. And let's do one more. Let's do 16 minus 7. 16 take away 
7. I put our blanks here. So first we're going to say how far is 16 away from 10? Well, it's a teen, so that one's easy. We put the 6 there. And how far is 7? If we have 7 fingers up, how many more fingers do we need to make 10 fingers? Or 7, 8, 9, 10 if you need the dots. So that's 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. And again, if you put the dots there, you can use them to help you add if you need to. So that is a way to do your subtraction problems when you have that number smaller than this number. And again, this works with all of your teen numbers. If you have numbers in your 20s and things like that, then you want to go back to your borrowing. Uh, but this is a great strategy to use when you have teens where this number is smaller than that number. It's called build to 10.